Okay, so let's talk about this presidential debate, shall we? It was a fucking joke. Plain and simple, it was a joke. Let me start off with just giving a little bit of insight to both of our candidates here. Hillary Clinton, Donald J. Trump. Let's start with Hillary. Hillary Clinton, you are a traitor. You are a traitor to this country. You are a traitor to this flag. You are a traitor to the people of this country. In every single sense of the word. Okay? You have betrayed this country. You do not, I don't care who you are, you do not sell or give away secrets or important top secret documentation to other countries. Okay? You just don't. That's how wars get started. Alright? If it was me or any other American citizen and we did this, we would be immediately arrested, prosecuted, and thrown in prison for the rest of our lives. Okay? And this is a well-known fact. You sell secrets of your country to another country or give away secrets to another country that are top secret for your country? You're put away. And that's all there is to it. So my question is why in the hell is Hillary even able to run for presidency? She shouldn't be able to. It's bullshit. The running for presidency, this running, is a, it's a joke. Okay? Like, it, it's ridiculous. Donald J. Trump, he's an egotistical, selfish, ignorant, arrogant jackass. He doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. Okay? Every question that Donald Trump was asked during the presidential debate, he avoided and somehow turned it around to make his answer about either how he agreed or disagreed with Hillary or how we need to close and reassess our import-export trade communications with the rest of the world. And China seemed to be a big target with him. Okay. First off, we've already been to war with China. We do not need somebody that's going to take us back to war with China. Okay, that shit, it, it, it don't make no damn sense. Second off, you cannot put money in the hands of the rich and expect the regular common man to get anywhere. Okay, since I've been alive, since I was born, the rich have been getting richer, the poor have been getting poorer. Okay, so taking more money from the middle class and giving it to the rich is not going to help the economical situation. Okay. Uh, where, where else can I start? Uh, it's just, it, it, it blows me away how, how ignorant... This really is. Okay. Back 50, 60 years ago, I'd say, shit was a lot different. Okay. This used to be the greatest country in the, Amer in the world. The United States of America was the greatest country in the world. We're not anymore. And that's a fact that Americans have to face. We are not the greatest country in, in the world anymore. And the reason why is because our country is becoming fucking ignorant. Okay? The media, the news, it's all a bunch of bullshit. Okay? 
they show us, the media shows us these little tiny things that spark up disturbances domestically between the common people. And what it does is it hides what our government and the people that run this country are doing in the background. Okay? I, I, I don't get it. We had something going on. I, I can't quite remember what it is right now. But we had something going on not too long ago. Very important. Didn't hear about it one time in the damn news. You know what we heard about? A football player not standing up during the national anthem. Now, I am an American. I do find that disrespectful. But it was not as important as what was going on elsewhere in this country. All right, period, was not as important. But because of the media, it got turned into this big thing and created a huge, huge, just drama-filled disturbance within the country over something little when something huge was actually going on behind the scenes. Okay, and this happens all of the time. Alright, if it was up to me, I wouldn't be voting for Hillary or Trump. And honestly, it is up to me. It's up to me and every other citizen in this country. We have the choice to vote. We have the right to vote. But at some point or another... Somebody has to stand up and say enough is enough. Okay. Our educational system is shit. Our economic system is shit. Okay. Nothing is made to last anymore. Nothing is actually made in our country anymore. The general population has been dumbed down and is becoming more and more ignorant by the day. As the people of this country, we are the ones that should be controlling this country. We are the ones whose opinions matter. We are the ones that all of these rich bastards are piggybacking off of. Because if it wasn't for the citizens of this country, there wouldn't be a country. If it wasn't for the citizens of this country, there wouldn't be a government. And the people that are in charge that control everything that goes on with our laws, with our food, with everything that we do. We put them in power. The general population, the citizens of the United States of America, we are the ones that have put them into power. So, obviously... We screwed up somewhere along the line and put the wrong people in office. So what do we do? As, the American, as an American citizen, I say we need to stand up. Enough is enough. It's time to stand up and say no. So if you want my honest opinion on this presidential debate, don't vote. Don't. Don't even give them the dignity of your vote. Because it's not worth it. We're being made to choose a lesser evil of the two. And we shouldn't have to. The president that we have at the moment has already incited all kinds of things that have been tearing this country apart. Hell, somehow he even got a small race war to start. Black lives matter. No, all fucking lives matter. Okay, I don't care what color your skin is. Black, red, orange, pink, blue, yellow. Fuck, you can be multicolored for all I care. Racism is ignorant. To judge someone on the color of their skin, their appearance, or their personality is completely 100% ignorant.
ignorant. We are all equal. And because we are all equal, we make up this country. And we make this country great. The common man is not informed anymore. And that needs to change. This country was the greatest country in the world. And the reason why is because the people that were in office as well as the general population, the common man, were all informed. We knew what was going on in the world. We knew what was going on with our country. And we were all part of the choices that were made. It's no longer that way, and it needs to change. It's time to tear down the government that we have built and start anew with level-headed, fair, peaceful people that know the struggle of the common man, that know the struggle of being in a bad neighborhood, that know the struggle of sending your children to school and them coming home to show you their work, and their work is a joke. They're not actually learning anything. Enough is enough. Our government is purposely, purposely screwing our educational system to dumb down and make this generation completely 100% ignorant so we cannot defend ourselves. We have constitutional rights that were put in place so we can defend ourselves against our government if our government ever grows to too much power above us. Well, I'm here to let you know our government has grown too powerful over the general population and the citizens of this country. It is time for us as the citizens to stand up as a whole, as a group, a single unit, and destroy and dismantle what has been built so that it can be rebuilt into something that's better, something that will bring peace and actual prosperity and abundance to this country. As an American citizen, I will be damned if I just sit by and watch my country, my beautiful country, our beautiful country, go to hell and fall to shit. I'll be damned. My name is Kyle Newsom. I am 24 years old and I live in Pensacola, Florida. I will be glad to say any of this to anyone. And if you have a problem with anything that I've said, honestly, I don't care. I'm not going to be one of these little sensitive pricks that walks around and just because he got his feelings hurt, thinks it's okay to try and take away my rights as a human being, to think and have an opinion and make a choice. I'll be damned if anyone is going to take my rights from me without a fight. And I damn sure will not just sit by and watch my country go to shit without a fight. Anyone else that feels like me, please, please like this video, share this video, get it out so people can see. I want people to understand what's really going on with this country and I will gladly sit down and do some more research and actually give you a few good incentive facts of what's been going on and what hasn't been shown to the public things that we should know that we don't anyway that's all I've got to say for right now I just really felt like I needed to get that out to everyone that can possibly see it.
Have a good day.